First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. Man, talking about swimming pools, we're certainly going to have a lot of uh, swimming weather here over the next couple of days. And today was pretty steamy out there. We hit the low 90s until those storms came on through. And it is much cooler outside now, only mid 70s. You got 75 in downtown Jacksonville. But take it note of that dew point, 72. So still very muggy. It's humid air out there. And unfortunately, that's going to continue to stick around through your Thursday and your Friday here to end your work week. So fairly mild start to your morning temperature is going to be in the mid 70s by 7 to 8 a.m. Quickly warming up through the 80s and then into the mid 90s by the middle of the afternoon tomorrow. You factor in that humidity, real field temperatures will be anywhere from about 100 to 105. So uh, just try to stay hydrated, especially if you are a worker out there. Uh, mid 90s all across the first coast, low 90s even out there at the beaches. So no one is escaping the heat tomorrow until potentially you do happen to get in on some of those rain and storm chances, primarily after about 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We have much stronger southwesterly winds tomorrow, kind of just inhibiting that sea breeze from coming inland at all. So many of those rain chances will be in and along I-95 and then eastward from there. So Flagler, St. Johns County have very good chances to see some of those showers and storms before they do gradually push off the east coast. And then there is one little potential complex of storms that could move across our southeast Georgia counties, but this continues to transition or trend further and further to the northeast. So folks from Waycross to folks in the Brunswick, you could also see some late evening storms from 9 to 11 o'clock tomorrow evening, um, but best chances will certainly be along the coast there tomorrow. Now, Friday, hottest day of the week. Temperature's going to be in the upper 90s, real feel of about 105. There is going to be a chance for a few lingering showers, primarily across our southern counties there, Friday uh, afternoon and evening. But then after that, drier air finally going to filter down in. This is a live water vapor uh, satellite image. All that dry air up across the Midwest, that will eventually filter down in across the first coast for your weekend. So even though, yes, it is going to be still very, very hot for both your Saturday and your Sunday, less humid at least for Saturday. That humidity will gradually increase on Sunday, which will bring at least about a 20 to 25 percent chance for uh, some rain and isolated shower here or there come Sunday afternoon. But really, the heat is the main story here over the next couple of days, so we cannot stress enough. Try to stay cool and stay hydrated here through the end of the week and into the weekend. But after that cold front does move on through, then our eyes are going to turn southward. Big plume of moisture coming up from the Caribbean Sea up into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to continue to watch and keep a very, very close eye on the Bay of Campeche and uh, area south of Cuba for some potential storm development. If we don't happen to see a tropical storm, we will at least see a lot of rain, primarily across South Florida next week, but even here across the first coast as well. A lot of folks could see anywhere from about one to even an, uh, an inch and a half of rain as we head into next week. And you'll notice that here on the seven day, 60% rain chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and a little bit cooler back into the mid to upper eighties by this time next Wednesday. And Mr. Chris Porter, he'll have a look at your sports here right after the break.